Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 18.4, and it's episode 94. So, we're still waiting for the Screamer farm uh, to kind of produce results. So, while we do that, we're just going to work on this. Now, I need to get a ladder. That will go up the side here. And let's see. I'll make um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Fill this in. And now we can put the ladder in. Groovy. Okay, so let's get this back in here. Get these frames popped in. Should be pretty easy. I don't not exactly sure how many blocks wide it is. Or even how long it is. I just know that for the most part it's long longer than uh, what I need. So I could just do well, let's eyeball this. So we put a row here, a spacer, row here, spacer, and row here. So one, two, three, four rows. More than, more than ten should yield just what I need. Provided I don't screw it up. But my main needs are corn and potatoes and I need to get the, uh, book to craft the uh, seeds from potatoes because ultimately ultimately my goal is to make meat stew instead of bacon and eggs because eggs are becoming a pain in the ass to try to find oh shit Really? Mother fucker. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, well, let's clean it up. And the Jeep just kind of got mangled. I'm not making it any better. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah. So I probably ought to lock down some of these uh, frames. No doubt that uh, some of this is gain me a, some attention from the zombies. Yeah. 
Yeah, at least, at least the sides stayed up. Yeah, it probably wouldn't have collapsed if I uh, reinforced the the side beams. That stuff is done. Ugh, gotta do this all over again. You know what? Probably should have done it without the Jeep in here. That part's done. Let's get up up top. So now we have Oh shoot, I should have done it down there. another pillar here. It's probably not going to be symmetrical, but uh, let's see. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah. Somewhat symmetrical. done. I really want to get get some um, plots set up. Now the thing is, is I'm not really sure. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make sense that things would grow when it's snowing. Unless you have a greenhouse, 
So that might be part of the design. Just barely reaching up there. So when I was thinking about building this, I was definitely thinking about building it on the ground and make it like a a classic greenhouse setup. But then I thought, eh, I don't want the zombies running through it, ruining it. And that would be a pain in the ace, so... Um, I have to not to have that. Oh, got the pillar here. All right, let's get this framed in. If this collapses, I'm just going to give up on this project. Because obviously there would be something wrong um, structurally, like underground or something, that just makes this prone to collapse. Hopefully, when he's upgraded like this, it improves the structural stability so it won't collapse. Look at all that experience I'm getting just from from nailing this in. <laughs> and I got plenty of wood, so oh, got to stretch. Get it out there. So far, it seems like it's going to hold. See, what they need to do in the game is make a sound effect like um, structural fatigue, like it's about ready to fall, and if you add one more, then it, it falls. So, you know, you put it, these blocks in, all of a sudden, you know, kind of a, a creaking sound or whatever is related to the material you're using, like 
stone, you know, like shifting stones, like stones rubbing against each other. Metal would have that metallic, you know, creaking to it. Wood would have the straining of the wood fibers type of sound, you know. And then you add one more block of that kind and all of a sudden it'll fall. But not just randomly fall, even though it seemed like it was perfectly structurally capable. Alright, so that is Dune. Now we need to run the uh, separations and also kind of box it in a little bit. I need to bear in mind where that ladder is. frames here. Uh, let's see. One more. Uh, no, one more. frames Now in the past I've done it where I've had 10 block long rows, maybe even 20, and like one row for each kind of seed. So there would be like 14, 15, I think even 20 rows, so like 20 by 20. And that's like these rows a separation and these rows, you know, kind of like that. It looks like I had just enough wood for this and um, frames. I think what I'll, I'll do is, you know, it's four planting rows. I have like two rows for potatoes, two rows for corn, and then I'll rotate the crops so it's like two rows for goldenrod, two rows for chrysanthemum, and then come back and do it again with potatoes and corn, that kind of thing. So I'm not really going through the. Uh, red tea and the goldenrod that, that much but it is good to have a, uh, a good stock of that stuff
Whew. This is nowhere near as hard as real farming. Hell, it's not even as hard as gardening. <laughs> <laughs> a most amazing material if you are five years old. All right, so we need to get what was that again? A whole bunch of clay. It used to be it. You just dig, dig the ground and get well dirt, but now it's simplified and made more complicated. If that made any sense. There we go. Alright, so let's see how much clay we got. Now, I wonder... Oops. Um, okay, base. I'm pretty much thinking that there's no fertilizer anymore. So I know, I know that the uh, mechanics have been changed a, a bit, but... I didn't realize how much. Hmm. Oh, come on. All right, so forge it in. That's a pretty good amount there. Now, do you do it in dirt or do you do it in topsoil? Try both. Oops. And see which one works out the best. Um, let's see, we need... Well... Take one of these out. And we need some chrysanthemum seed. Just see what we can do with these. Um, I don't even think we need hose anymore. Uh, 
Uh, oh, come on. Get there and there. Okay, so we don't need it oh, anymore. So that's a big change. I took my hose away. <laughs> So we'll test these out, see what is what. So we'll put dirt in here. Let's see, we are dealing with yeah, dirt in the first one. Okay. And we'll put the uh, topsoil over here. And that adapts to the biome. So I'm thinking I might want to use just dirt. Well, let's see, these are plentiful and these are plentiful. So that's not. Hmm. Alright, it's time to get out the, uh, planting. Maybe I don't have the skill yet. Let's see. Farming. Use your fists or any tool to harvest crops. Okay, after you bought the required skill in the living off the land perk. Okay. Or find the schematic, you can craft seeds from harvested crops, craft farm plots, and plant seeds on farm plots using the secondary action, and increase your harvesting yield by buying more levels of the perk. Okay, so, let's see. Okay, so I'm definitely going to take a bit to get the skills up in this. I can probably... Yeah, I got 42 to 3, so it's going to take me a little bit. So I can't really plant anything in here, and I can't tell what is going to yield anything. I don't know if this ground will even yield... Um, seeds or anything like that so or you know what I mean all right well I'll have to come back to this I guess and it's about time for me to end the episode which is just about good timing So we'll put these seeds away and we'll rethink our options a bit. Actually, let's uh, do that. I'm surprised that my um, zombie farm hasn't yielded anything yet. That's a little upsetting. Alright, well that's it for this episode. At least we got a spot set aside for a farm. I just can't farm it yet. Oh well. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Even learned something from it, like what to do. Or, usually, what not to do. 
But, um, ooh. Hello. Someone went, went kaboom. And that is one of the screamers. So it is kind of sort of working. Yeah. All right, guys. See you later. Twitch. Twitch.